We're going to install a Golfco competition roller. Um, we're going to install it in a the roller body, which in this case is a grooved three inch diameter grooved polyurethane roller. Um, polyurethane shell is cast over and permanently bonded to an interior steel tube where all the bearing surfaces and seal surfaces are machined. We're going to use a full length shaft, which has two grooves two snap ring grooves on each end and a shoulder. Uh, the end of the shaft is actually tapered slightly, a couple thousandths of an inch, so the ease in installation of the bearings all the way down. We're going to install a seal bearings and sealed ball bearings, and we're going to use heavy duty snap ring. We're going to install V-ring seal, which has a thin lip side, which does the sealing and you'll notice that it actually, if you compress it, it slightly compresses down. And we're going to use a yellow polyurethane seal, which has a counterbore on one side. That, that side is, the counterbore will always be facing outwards towards the end of the shaft. We're going to install another V-ring seal, a thin stainless steel washer, and another heavy duty snap ring. And this is the installed component showing on a sample roller that shows a cutaway of the roller body, shows all the components and how they're seated. And so what we're gonna do is start with the installation of the shaft through the body inside the steel tube. We're gonna take the snap the bearings and seat them on each end down into the housing manually. And then we're going to take and install them down in the bottom of the housing. We're going to use install bearing installation tools and we're going to soft mallet to install them down into the housing. You can tell it started getting a little bit louder there. The bearings are down and in, installed in the housing. The shaft on one end will have a snap ring groove showing on both both snap ring grooves showing so we're going to install this snap ring down on the shaft into the interior snap ring groove and then what we're going to do is shift the shaft down to the other side just takes a little bit oops a little bit more And we're going to install the interior snap ring, excuse me, on the other side. Down on the interior groove of the shaft. And we're just going to make sure that the snap ring is all the way down in position. And you want to make sure that the Roller spins nice and smooth. And then what we're going to do is install the interior V-ring seal. It, is, it stretches over the shaft just slightly. And you'll push it down past the exterior snap ring groove on the shaft. Work it way down carefully. And push it all the way down to the inner snap ring. And then we're going to take the yellow polyurethane washer seal and with the counter, again with the counterbore facing outwards and just position that and snap it into the housing of the roller body, making sure that it's perpendicular to the shaft. And we're going to take the V-ring seal for the exterior. It's going to face the sealing lip is going to be face inwards towards the yellow washer. So both V-ring seals are facing the sealing part is Lip is facing towards the yellow washer, one on each side. And we just get it started past that snap ring groove on the shaft. And then we'll install it by finish the installation by installing this stainless steel washer. And then we'll take the final snap ring, install it in the outer groove. It just pops into position. You notice the stainless steel washer is going to be somewhat loose on the outside. 
and you would do the same installation components on the other side until you're complete. And then you want to check to make sure that the roller is spinning nice and smooth and easily.